What's happening, good people? It's your boy here, Max Mill, and today I want to give you five reasons as to why your biceps are growing. Just five. Five of the best. And uh, let's just dive into it without any further ado. Number one is priority. You are not prioritizing your biceps. That's why they're not growing. And this one goes to any other muscle. It can be even your calves, it can be your legs, it can be your chest, it can be your shoulders, it can be your triceps, it can be anything, you name it. Priority is a key. When I talk about priority, I'm talking about how often do you train it. How often do you train your biceps? Not just how often, but during those times you're training your biceps, how many exercises are you doing? Volume, how heavy do you train? Sets, how many sets? Tempo. In short, I'm talking about progressive overload. This is how you prioritize your biceps. Let's assume you train it once a week. You only do it during your back, right? So you're doing back and biceps as we do it. This is how you should. This is how you will maximize on that session. Most people start with back and then whenever they're doing biceps curl. When biceps curl is in the program, this is how they do. They start with back and then they finish with biceps. Here is the tip. When you're doing back, let's say you've started with the rows. Let's say bent over row. We start with the famous over grip. After you've done doing your four sets of bent over row, deal load or if the weight is light, do two sets of or three or whatever number of sets of under grip. Remember, I talked about under grip. This under grip will help you accessorize your biceps. For as much as it might attack your back, you will be. This will be like the prime mover whenever you're doing the under grip. Are we together? And now this one goes to any form of row. It can be lateral down. You're done with the over grip. Switch to under grip. It can be seated row. It can be pull ups. It can be chin ups. It doesn't matter. So that is priority. Number number and the same priority, but B is frequency. Now you're training only Monday. Monday or Tuesday, you're doing back and biceps. Try to throw biceps maybe in the course of the, that same week. Maybe you can train it twice after it has recovered. So for you to know if it has recovered, if there's no soreness, hit it again, no problem. You can be doing maybe legs and you're there waiting for, maybe you're resting after every set. Now this process of resting, you can grab the band, some bit of biceps, just lightweight, okay? That's how you do it, okay? Number Another thing you can do in terms of priority, you can start with it. Now, you can start with it in this way. When you're doing chest, let's say you'll do maybe, as a warm-up, you say, I'll do four sets of 10 to 15 or to failure, 10 reps to failure of chin-up as a warm-up. Are we together? Or it can be even the ordinary bubble curl, just any form of curl. That's still priority because you're trying to grow it. Number two, let's look here. Variation. Variation is another thing. How many exercises are you doing for biceps? Are you only doing barbell curl or easy curls? No. Try to put some variations. Try to do hammer curls. Maybe your biceps will re respond better when you switch to hammer curls. Maybe they respond better when you switch to preacher curl. Maybe they respond better when you do some alternating curls. You understand? Or even chin-ups. Who knows? So, if you're only relying on same all exercises try to do others the internet has a lot and if you don't know what to do have a biceps program i can give it to you but at a fee okay that one needs no further explanation i think that is reason number two reason number three let's look execution stop ego lifting so many of you ego lift yet they're not doing the right thing when you're knowing you're executing you mean you're ego lifting on your cars is when your traps kick in all the time. This is how you know. You're there doing biceps curl. I know you're close to failure. You're close to failure. And then now you start uh, bouncing your body more than the weight. There you go. Now when you're starting to bounce, I know it's cheating. Cheating isn't that bad, but it depends how often you cheat. It will start hitting your other areas other than the biceps. And when it's hitting other areas, it means like you're doing useless. You're doing you're not doing good because now that wasn't your aim. Your aim was to focus on this, now you're focusing on other things. Right? I think that one also needs no further explanation. But for about execution, so stop ego lifting.
okay focus on strict cows just and if you know you you know you're you know focusing on strict cows because the weight is too heavy so you're trying to impress them stop impressing them another thing you should know is nutrition nutrition is pathetic like when i talk about nutrition let me, let me assume this person is skinny and wants to grow bigger biceps so it means you're on a deficit you're skinny and you're still on a deficit no you need to increase those macros you should be on a surplus how do you know you're on a surplus try to track your macros so that you know how many or how much you eat in the course of the day okay so if you track your macros you'll know what to add maybe you typically eat three meals a day so if you throw one meal there and this one meal maybe is full of protein ah you're good to go because you have broken that plateau you're not from deficit to surplus that one needs no further explanation and if you again don't know how to track your macros holler at your boy i'll help you i'll create one meal for you and you like it a meal that is based on what you like not from this space last one let's talk about frequency i know i've spoken about frequency but in this time now i want to assume you're either overdoing it or underdoing it you can be doing bunches and bunches of biceps curls right but you're still seeing no gains it's because you're not giving yourself time to recover your arms are always in action no give you time to recover remember you feel like i for me to feel my best i have to be sore like no now this time say i will not train to fail i'll just do a basic movement few sets and i go home do that for a couple of weeks and see how your biceps will be right so it's not must you be doing rep to fail every single day you're doing biceps curl don't chase palm no 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 that's where you go wrong when you're chasing palm that doesn't mean that biceps is growing no that's just lactic acid accumulating around that area yeah so what you need to do is stop chasing the lactic acid and just do the basics like what i've said stop chasing palm stop repping to failure there's time and place for failure it's a good thing but not all the time because when you do it all the time it affects again your gains what do i mean you be now doing what we call your body will overcompensate something which doesn't want okay so just do stick the basics so if you want to know you're chasing pump doing minus one set now start minusing those sets or deload do a deload yeah that to just today say I'll, i'm used to 20 20 kgs yeah today i'll try 15 15 or 10 10 just do my few sets and go home still progressive overload in case you didn't know okay i hope those tips help you because they do make sense from whatever i've just explained if you are if you know what i mean you, you'll know that i makes a lot of sense in this video and try and see maybe if your biceps will grow why have i brought this video because people have asked me over and over again Mila, how do you grow your biceps i'm gifted when it comes to biceps i have nice biceps i don't i can't lie but for as much as I have good genetics, I still have the top-notch secret to grow better biceps. So what I'm saying is, even if I had poor biceps, I've grown bigger biceps. I know that. So again, maybe if you're not going because you're giving up, stop giving up. Find a partner. Get a supplement. You know the another thing, supplement is just a mindset thing. Yeah? If you know you're after this biceps, I'm going to take my protein shape. You'll train hard so that in your head you feel like, you want to make sure this project works whenever I've scooped on every other day or whatever time you do your supplementation. So supplementing PA is good. Like you can use different supplements. You can try creatine. Creatine is good. So, so good. Me all the time, I always have creatine. It's not here, but you can just source from any brand or from any source and good to go. I don't think there is a unique creatine more than the other. It's just matter of preference you know people prefer this one for this one but uh, according to me i feel like that one is again is just a gimmick yeah so you can try creatine you can try we you can try other products other than just those two okay i hope you'll apply this in your next program and if you don't know how to plan yourself you can just dm me and ask how can i program myself when it comes to biceps and i'll give you a very good program i have for back and biceps or just biceps only back only you name it okay do this